world, my name is James and welcome to Mirror Domains and this is my review for The Mandalorian Chapter 7, The Reckoning. Yes, The Mandalorian Season 1, Chapter 7, The Reckoning. And this one is directed by Deborah Chow, which is uh, really cool because she directed one of my earlier favorites too. Uh, was it Episode 3 or Chapter 3? Anyway, uh, so this one is called The Reckoning. Uh, Mando once again gets a, uh, a message from um, uh, Carl Weathers' character, uh, Karga, and he's basically offering him a truce to go back and, you know, settle this debt with the, uh, with the client, played by Werner Herzog. So, you know, if they kill him, then he will uh, release him from the hunt of the guild after him so that the baby Yoda will be free. And... Uh, I was kind of like, okay, we got to get back to that storyline now. And now that I've seen the episode and I'm thinking back on it, I'm just like, okay, now I understand what they're doing with the with the season. They were setting certain things up with characters along the way to have these final two episodes really be one big episode, but they chopped it up into two bits. Uh, I feel like this one, uh, it, it left, <laughs> it, le it leaves you with kind of like, uh-oh. Wow, oh, oh, God. Like, it really, like, when you watch my live reaction, which I'll leave links to up in the cards above, I was just kind of like, no. <laughs> because you actually begin to care for some of these characters, you know? Uh, obviously, everybody likes Baby Yoda, but uh, uh, Quill comes back, you know, from uh, you know, Nick Nolte from earlier, uh, I Have Spoken guy. And uh, we spend some time with him, and we find out that he... Uh, remade the IG-11 robot with uh, voiced by Taika Waititi. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, Mando doesn't like <laughs> robots, so they had some butting of heads there. And uh, they eventually agreed to go on this mission, and he's rounding up his friends. So he goes and gets Quill. He goes gets he goes to get Cara Dune, and we see a nice little fight scene with uh, Gina Carano. I like that stuff. As again, as I said before, I think this is the perfect role for her. She's She's nailed this character, and I, I'm just really happy to see her in these adventures. And uh, hopefully she gets uh, some more screen time in the upcoming episodes. Um, and, of course, uh, we get to see Carl Weathers again, and I like him. So they go to the planet, and you expect that uh, Karga, you know, uh, is going to double-cross him. And he sort of does, but doesn't. He kind of warns him. That, uh, yeah, we were going to double cross you, but not anymore. And uh, something really interesting happens with Baby Yoda along the way. So he does have a little bit more to do in this. Uh, one, uh, I forgot to mention is that he, uh, he force strangles Kara because Kara and Mando are having like a, an arm wrestle and he begins to force choke her. And it was like, wow. Because he wants to defend Mando, obviously. But uh, that was kind of interesting, you know, so, uh, I know a lot of people will want to read into that more than they probably should. And then, uh, Karga, uh, fends off some winged creatures at night. Uh, he gets scratched, which is poisoned, and Baby Yoda, uh, heals him. So he uses his powers quite a bit in this episode. And we just kind of got the impression that, yeah, he's obviously a force user and we get hints that people are sort of aware of force, but maybe not. Uh, Quill begins to talk about it, but then he, we don't hear too much more after that. Okay. So then they go to this place where the um, client is and we see Herzog again, and they're about to reveal that they don't have the baby Yoda with them until uh, 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 this, the new guy, the new villain, uh, who I thought was the guy who was tracking them on that other planet where uh, people said it's Boba Fett. Uh, who was it? Moff Gideon is the, what they're calling him. Uh, he had some death troopers with him and a, like a, a brigade of stormtroopers. Uh, but the, the death troopers lay waste to the little tavern that they're in and kills the client and everybody else in there except for uh, Mando, Karga, and Cara Dune. Uh, so they were pinned down, and that's pretty much where the episode ends, except, uh, you know, Quill is trying to get back to the ship with Baby Yoda, and they're being tracked down by speeder bikes. <coughs> Sorry. And we see that he gets shot. Now, is he dead? I don't know. 
Maybe he had some protective vests on. Maybe he just got stunned. I'm thinking that, I'm hoping that that's it. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping that that's all that happened to him. If he died off screen though, guys, I don't know if I would like that choice. So that's why I'm saying that maybe he, he's got some protective gear, but it's just set up things with, with the speeder biker troops, um, getting baby Yoda and going back to the bad guy, uh, Moth Gideon. So I feel like it was a good setup for the finale. It set things up in, for some intense action. I feel like that's going to happen because they're going to have to break out. And as far as the episode in a whole, I'd have to give it a nine and a half. Uh, it's one of the better ones because of it, it moves the story forward. Uh, I think all of them do in hindsight. Uh, like some people have said, like the previous ones were kind of like filler. But when the season is fully done and complete, you'll realize that those were necessary parts to build us up to this good finale and I feel like it's going to stick that finale landing really awesome and really cool. So that's it. That's my review for uh, The Mandalorian Chapter 7, The <coughs> the Reckoning. Okay, uh, YouTube is recommending a video for you to watch right there and you can see my latest one just right up here. My name is James and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.